anticipation that the game's kind of online to maybe not have someone come in who's stressed out or you know, yelling at you guys, but that kind of relaxed. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, offense is a little different than defense. You know, we always like to say it takes everybody doing the right thing. A defense can be successful with only one person doing the right thing on any given play. An offense has to be has to have everyone doing the right thing to be successful. So, um, you know, we we more than anything try to work together. Uh, you know, throughout times of peril or anything like that, and just uh, just stay on track. You know, like I said, uh, just just playing football the way we know that we can. You know? You know, having a guy like Joe who is calm, cool, and collected, you know, in times of peril, um, we just keep things relaxed. You know, like I say, he kind of comes in, what's up, guys? And uh, just starts the day off with that tone. And we kind of do a formal handshake sometimes. You know, so I'll, I'll mess with him and just give him a real formal handshake like that. And uh, just, you know, just just having a guy like that, like I say, he's, he's, he's loose. You know, he's not uptight. Um, you know, and it just helps us be relaxed. But like I said, guys on defense, you, you kind of only have to have one guy doing everything right. So we're... We realize that the stakes are high when we're all together, but you know, be relaxed, do your job, and everything's gonna work out great. And, oh. and that's kind of just how we approach it. Do you know some of the guys in UCF that are from Louisiana, Nate Evans? Um, actually, I don't. I don't. Uh, played against them in high school. I could have, but I just you know maybe don't know my name or okay. something like that, but not right off. No. Okay. Thank you. You talked about uh, Joe being loose. You got off the plane probably as enthusiastic as, as anybody. What is this week like for you, your your last game for LSU? Um, you know, of course, uh, it's bittersweet. That is my last game. Um, just to have been able to have played here and, and to have done the things that I've done within the program. But like I said, it's a bummer because you know, I don't get to play anymore. But um, as far as getting off the plane, that mariachi band, was the greatest welcome like ceremony I've ever seen. Well, I've ever been a part of for myself. When I saw that we had a mariachi band, I felt like we were, I told, I was telling everybody, bowl game's over, wrap everything up, it's time to go back home. Mariachi band, we've seen it all. That's all we needed to see. <laughs> oh, you caught me off guard with that. <laughs> oh. How did he get into spray paint? Oh. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you know about that? Oh man, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I started that once I was a junior in high school, and I had a teacher, Therese Knowles. Uh, she teaches at U High, and she she's not a traditional art teacher how you think, you know, just pen, paper, draw, paint. Um, she's traveled around the world. She's like sold vases for thousands of dollars, and, like taught princes and dukes and all types of things. But um, she just ins would inspire us, inspire us to think outside the box. And I'll never forget, um, it might have been the first secondary class, she came in, into the classroom and drew a big line across the board, a permanent marker. And everyone's like, oh, Miss Knowles, what are you doing? And then she tried to clean it and it smudged. And she like made a butterfly or a bird or something off of that smudge. And um, you know, I watched a lot of Bob Ross. He says this also, but in art, that there, there are, that there are no accidents. There's only chances and opportunities to be created. And uh, I was on Facebook one day when I was a junior in high school, and I saw a guy in New York doing spray paint art. And I thought, why can't I do it? So I went to Miss Knowles, and she said, "Sure, give it a try." And we already had a couple cans of paint at the school, so uh, I would go outside during art class, right outside the window, and she could see me from the window. And I would, you know, just practice, 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 and I got better, and I started buying my own paints. So I went from 10 cans to 15 cans to 20 cans, and just learning to do more things, just watching YouTube, learning techniques, and just kind of created it and uh, uh, developed, you know, things into my own. Uh, you know, I don't always get to paint how I want to, uh, playing college football, you know, but uh, <laughs> it's cool to be able to get away and just uh, have something unique that I do myself. Uh, Which one you still do? Uh, like I said, occasionally when I can. Uh,